Hi, it's Mike here. Um, in this video, what I'd like to do is just really um, illustrate how easy it is to call an Azure function from BizTalk. So here we have um, on the screen now, we've got a basic function which is going to use um, an HTTP trigger. So using the out of the box stuff, we get our method signature in the function here. And you can see it, um, it accepts an HTTP request and returns an HTTP response. In the function itself, I'm going to um, read the read the request and convert that using JSON.NET to an object. So you can see I've got an object down here, really simple um, request object which takes a name and a response which will it'll just give a message back. Um, I'm then going to going to do a little bit of mapping here. So I'm going to create my response object, and I'm going to um, set the message property to be hello. And then whatever the name was supplied and just return that so this this is like a really simple function obviously in the real world you might do something more complicated um, and if it's an integration scenario this could be a good implementation of a facade pattern where you might wrap some logic inside the function to interact with another system now you know that this function is really simple a call from a tool like postman um, you know, there's there's many examples out of there that, that show how to do it. Now, what we want to do is show how to use a BizTalk send port to call a function. So next up, we'll have a quick look at the integration side of the um, function. So as you can see here, it's maybe not rendered the, the nicest on the um, sort of minimized screen here, but um, we've got our HTTP request, we've got our HTTP response that gets returned. And further down, I've set the authorization level to be function. And um, I've, although I've specified all methods, I'm, I'm going to expect a post here um, from BizTalk. Now, in the manage section, what I've done is I've enabled a, a separate key for BizTalk to call it. So I'm going to use the key that's supplied here rather than the default key. And I guess this just means you can have multiple people calling your function and you can, you can manage the keys separately. So really you know vanilla function not not doing anything particularly complicated so the question becomes how do we use this from BizTalk so over here I've got a BizTalk um, dev box we're going to do the simple drop a file in a folder let BizTalk pick it up it's going to call the function pass in the, the request message and the response we're going to save back out a disk so here I'm um, just to, to show this through we've got a receive port and that's going to pick up a text file it's going to be um, a pass through port so it's going to do nothing to the file we're going to route that port uh, that file as it comes in to this uh, this send port here so with this send port we're going to use the WCF web HTTP um, adapter so that lets us do a rest call here I've got the URL for my function so you can get this from the um, from the function designer so for anyone who's not familiar, this is the URL for your base function app. And then within that, you've got an individual function, which here is I've called biztalk-crm-facade-contact. So let's pretend I'm going to look up a contact from CRM or something like that. Um, I'm specifying my HTTP method here. So we're going to do a post. And then the only other thing I need to do is um, specify some headers. So... I've specified here my um, content header, so I'm using application JSON, and the final things, the key, which we need to supply for the function. Now you've got two choices around the key. You can either specify it as an HTTP header using the X functions key header, and that that's the way I prefer to do it. Um, the other options you can supply a query string parameter called code, and then set the key in the query string. But personally, my my preference is the header because I think it's a little bit more, um, you know, you, you just rely on it being a little bit more secure, I think, but um, either option supported. So if we have a quick um, look at this in action, so jumping back to the function for a second, we can um, go down to the log section down here. And if I just clear the logs, you'll see the function hasn't been called yet. What we can do on the BizTalk box is if we go, um, if we just drop out a disk, I've got a sample message here, so if I copy that, we'll check we've got nothing in our out folder, so we drop the JSON message, and if we just have a quick look at that, see, you know, it's just going to specify a name, so we drop that into the in folder, 
this talk picks it up. Function gets called, so we can see a little bit of a little bit of login information here about the function getting called. And back on the biz talk box, the um, the output folder now contains the response message that came back from the function. So you can see that that was dead dead easy to call an Azure function, and hopefully with um, a combination of biz talk and functions. That opens up um, opportunities to extend BizTalk for quite a number of different scenarios.